Welcome to the third session of the CSM tutorial. In this session, we are going to take questions on computer network and malware. So if you have not watched the first and the second session, their links are in the description area and the comment section below. So without wasting much time, let's start. The first question says, what is a computer network? Listen, computer network consists of hardware and software that facilitate the sharing of data and resources. So the correct answer to this is option B, a combination of hardware and software that sends data from one computer to another. Okay, let's proceed to the next question. Question two, which of the following is not an application of computer networks? The one which is not application of computer networks is option C, improving the battery life of devices. You can use it to share resources, which is option A. Communication from one computer to another is also one of the application. And then sharing information over geographical wide areas is also another application, except option C, which is improving the battery life of devices. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question. Question three, which of these is a benefit of computer networks? The correct answer to this is increased speed. Question four, which of the following is not a disadvantage of computer networks? This means that all the following are disadvantages except one. So which of them is not a disadvantage? The correct answer is option C, reduced cost. It is an advantage. That is why it is not a disadvantage. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question. Question five, what affects the performance of a network? Option A says the number of people on the network, which is true. Option B, the transmission medium, which is also true. Option C, the type of antivirus used. This is not true. So since option A and option B are true, the correct answer to this is option D, both A and B. Let's proceed to the next question. Question six, what does network security primarily deal with? Network security primarily prevents unauthorized access to data. So the correct answer to this is option A, preventing unauthorized access to data. Okay, let's proceed to the next question. Question seven, what is a point-to-point -point connection? When we say point-to-point -point connection, P2P, it directly connects two devices with dedicated communication link. The correct answer is option B, a dedicated link between two devices. We call it point-to-point -point connection, P2P. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question. Question eight, what is a multi-point connection? multi multi tv so a multi-point connection is a connection where multiple devices share a common link okay multiple devices will be sharing a common link that is multi-point connection so let's proceed to the next question question nine which topology has a dedicated point-to-point -point link to all other devices in the network the correct answer to this is mesh topology. So let's proceed to the next question. Question 10. Which topology uses a central control to connect devices? The correct answer to this is star topology. Whenever you see central controller, okay, so it is a star topology that uses a central controller to connect devices. So let's proceed to the next question. Question 11. In which topology do devices connect to a single cable called the bus cable? The one that devices connect to a single cable, which is called bus cable, is known as bus topology. Okay, let's proceed to the next question. Question 12. What type of topology forms a circular ring of connected devices? A circular ring, circular ring of connected devices the correct answer is ring topology let's proceed to the next question question 13 which network is designed to operate over a small physical area such as an office wan stands for wide area network 
LAN stands for Local Area Network. MAN stands for Metropolitan Area Network. But based on this question, it says small physical area. So the correct answer is LAN, LAN. Okay, Local Area Network. Let's proceed to the next question. Question 14. Which network spans over a large distance and connects widely separated locations? The correct answer to this is the wide area network. Okay. This network spans over a large distance and connects widely separated locations. Let's proceed to the next question. Question 15. What is malware? Now listen attentively. Malware refers to any software intentionally designed to cause damage or steal your data or disrupt the operation of your device. So malware stands for malicious software. Okay. So the correct answer to this is option A. Software with malicious intent. So I'll stop here for now. We'll continue another time. Hence, it is important to subscribe to the channel so that when we post new videos, you can have easy access to them. Thank you.